Of course, there are a ton of reasons to go for an adventure far underneath the surface of the ocean. But do you know all of the potential risks that accompany each and every dive? If you didn't, here they are. These are 15 dangers of deep sea diving. Number 15. Turbulent waters and weather. Unfair weather is just something that has occurred since the dawn of time. There is a special relationship between the moon and our oceans that pull and push the tides into some of the most fearsome storms we've seen in our lifetime. Unfortunately, there is absolutely no way to control the fierce storms that thrash about in the waters of the seas. The best one can do when caught in the storm of that magnitude is to ride it out, praying that the entire vessel lasts long enough to see you through till the storms end. As you know, most of them never make it back to the shore. If you are a diver going out into any depth of water, you need to abide by the same rules that people on boats and ships do and check the weather beforehand. Even though the diver is underwater, the storm still tosses the ocean about like a rag doll. If it isn't the weather on top of the surface, it might be the currents under the water that can spell the end for an inexperienced diver. There are maps that you can get that explain the known locations of strong riptides around the places you are diving. Heed these warnings with caution. Number 14. Barotrauma Apparently, there is a tiny pocket of air in your middle ear that when the underwater pressures increase and the effects are not equalized, the damage caused will most likely lead to barotrauma. When divers are taught measures to prevent the body from imploding when diving that deep, as well as when they are coming back up to the surface, they try to equalize the pressure during the dive by doing things like chewing, swallowing, or pinching their nose and blowing, similar to the things people do to try to rid themselves of the uncomfortable pressure while flying on an airplane. If a diver is not paying attention and the descent is too rapid for the person's ears to equalize, it can easily result in severe hearing damage, pain, and damage to the middle ear. Number 13. Malfunctioning Equipment Unless you are a very serious diver, you most likely aren't owning each and every piece of equipment needed to make just one dive. Let's just face it, some of that stuff costs thousands of dollars. It's totally understandable that you want to partake in your beloved pastime but can't afford to own each piece yourself. That's why there are a ton of places that rent out equipment for people to use. Although this seems like a solution to all of your problems, at least when it comes to equipment, a fair amount of the things you are going to be using haven't been kept up or maintained in the manner that they should have been. If you are renting equipment for the day, and you do that on the regular, make sure that you are thoroughly checking every piece, lest it spell out your ultimate diving demise. Number 12. Wild Marine Life Since humans are so arrogant, it might come as a surprise that humanity doesn't exactly own every corner of the planet, especially the oceans. You might be able to survive for long amounts of time underwater due to technological advances, and we might be able to power a vessel both on top and underneath the water. But the marine life living in the ocean is still very much in charge. Seeing as some divers go under solely for the purpose of capturing the next featured photo of a whale on the cover of National Geographic, they hopefully exercise a great deal of caution anytime they step into the water. The oceans are homes of sea life, and if they don't want their picture taken, they're sure to let you know about it. Beware of your surroundings. They may be beautiful, but they are also very deadly. Number 11. A Pulmonary Embolism A pulmonary embolism is what happens when a diver rushes to the surface too quickly. When you increase the pressure of the environment around the person, the diver's gas becomes denser, since more gas is crammed and stuffed in the same amount of space while under pressure. The gas in the person's lungs at the time will expand at the same rate as the pressure being reduced in the body, causing the lungs to swell. As if in some sort of epically terrible ending, the increased swelling sometimes makes the diver's lungs pop like a filled balloon. Number 10. Ill-Trained Divers This danger is really a no-brainer. You wouldn't put a brand new construction worker on the most complicated and most dangerous machine in the yard, so why wouldn't you think that inexperienced divers wouldn't also be a danger to others? According to a few divers' personal accounts, they have had times where other divers were toying with the marine life that could have at any point turned to attack. They have been caught goofing off, which is never smart when you are covered in delicate and life-supporting equipment. And to top it all off, one person wrote about a guy that started fighting with someone else and they actually ripped their oxygen mask off. If you are aware of inexperienced or ill-trained divers, it's best to stay far away. Number 9. Dehydration It sort of seems crazy to think that a person could become dehydrated while being surrounded by billions of gallons of water, but for divers, dehydration is a far more serious problem being underwater than it is while on land. While running in the sunshine, you wouldn't need to drink unless you were thirsty. However, Water helps the process of every part of your body and underwater, you need to make sure that every cell is in tip-top shape. 
If you have low levels of water in your system, you risk having thicker blood and a much slower rate of equalizing the nitrogen gas from your body, which then increases the likelihood of the diver in question getting decompression sickness, which we'll go over in a minute. Number 8. The Creatures of the Deep Although before we were talking about marine life that included the likes of sharks, we feel as though the creatures of the deep dark sea deserve a category all on their own. Because of the insane living conditions so far beneath the surface, the things that live there have adapted to be quite hardy individuals. They have lights that entice and enthrall you, while other creatures have paralyzing powers that would love to share with you. The point is that these creatures are out to get you, and just because you are a diver trying to explore something cool doesn't mean they won't attack on sight. Number 7. Nitrogen Narcosis Nitrogen narcosis is yet another serious issue divers need to be aware of. When the human body gets too much nitrogen in their system, it creates a kind of narcotic effect. It would feel like the nitrous oxide gas given to you at the dentist's office. While you might enjoy that woozy feeling when you're inside a dentist's office on dry land, this is not a feeling you would want to experience when you are far underwater. Nitrogen narcosis damages both sensory perception and judgment, making each decision the affected diver makes a potentially dire one. Number 6. Gaps in Actual Experience If you are an experienced diver, you know that there is a rule that states you have to take a refresher course every 6 months that you haven't been actively diving. Although you, being a diver, might laugh because you believe that the course really isn't all that big of a deal. It really is important. After not diving for just a few months, some of the very minor but incredibly important and vital details of the preparation or procedure of diving could be forgotten. Depending on which part you forget, that tiny sliver of information might just cost you your life. Just take the refresher course to get back in the loop. Number 5. Losing your buddy It might seem silly, but the buddy system is really important when it comes to dives and swimming out in the ocean. If you have a buddy, there should always be at least one other person in the water that is concerned with your safety and survival. The ocean is not a place to lose your buddy. Number 4. The Bends Decompression sickness is most often referred to as the bends, and it is caused by increased pressure which makes the tissues in a body absorb more nitrogen. When that fierce pressure is suddenly reduced, the extra nitrogen can form tiny nitrogen bubbles that can kill. When deep sea divers want to return to the ocean surface, they must do so in distinct stages that are carefully monitored so that they can best control the rate of which the absorbed nitrogen is released. The bends can range from the affected having aching joints, a creepy skin rash, or paralysis, and even possibly death. Do not go diving without being properly trained. It is not a hobby that you can just pick up in an afternoon. Number 3. Not Wearing Adequate Protection We aren't just talking about wearing durable gloves while checking out a sunken shipwreck. Although if you do get cut without wearing protective gloves, you can get tetanus, which is definitely not fun. We're talking about wearing gear that is suited to the climate and the temperatures of the weather and the ocean you are diving into. When you are wearing a short wetsuit, don't go play around in some coral where you can easily get cut up, which could lead to even more danger. Also, the temperature of the water gets colder the further down you get, so make sure you dress appropriately. It's not like you can just put on a jacket once you're underwater. Number 2. Oxygen Toxicity Oxygen toxicity happens only when the person is deep sea diving and goes more than 135 feet below the surface. Just like nitrogen, which caused a lot of problems for divers earlier, the body absorbs more oxygen when the body finds itself underneath increased water pressure. Inexperienced divers know how to deal with the increase of oxygen, but as the pressure and depth increase, the body absorbs more and more oxygen, and too much can become toxic. The symptoms start with tunnel vision and nausea, which then switch to a loss of consciousness and then seizures. If either one of the last things happens to you while you're underwater, you're most likely never making it out to the surface again. Number 1. Mask Squeeze The woman in this picture looks like she is about to start bleeding from her eyeballs, which is a rather frightening thing to see. However, she isn't a lead role in an up-and-coming horror film. She's suffering from a diverse condition called Mask Squeeze. When the pressure of the air inside the mask isn't equalized correctly, the outside pressure causes the scuba mask to be pushed on the diver's face, resulting in this scary painful look. The small blood vessels surrounding and in the eyes burst, which leads to the bloody eyeballs you see here. This is not the look she was going for, and we're sure of that. Let me know how much you guys love the video by smashing the likes down below! And make sure to check out the next video on Board Badger! Signing out. Boo! Better.